Hey everybody, happy new year. This week in PE, we are doing some winter Olympic station activities. So students K through four will be working on all kinds of winter Olympic themed games. And this station is called the team bobsled. So for this activity, you're going to need a bobsled. And for uh, this week, we are using four scooters. I have the scooters that connect together. Um, you can kind of see how they're connected underneath with one gymnastics mat on top. So students will probably be in groups of four to five. So when it's their turn, uh, half of the students will be fully on the gymnastics mat and the other two will be pushing and steering the bobsled. So for this station, uh, the students will have about three or four minutes. And what they're gonna do is they're going to push their bobsled through the checkpoints. So I spread out six checkpoints in rainbow order and the bobsled must be carefully pushed through each checkpoint to complete a lap. So for example, the students will push it through the red cones, then through the orange, then they will slowly turn, go through yellow, green, blue, and then finally purple. When they get through purple, they have to switch jobs, so they'll switch roles. The riders will become the pushers, the pushers will become the riders. But then I also just purchased a bunch of these on Amazon and uh, I think these are pretty good for scorekeeping. So each time a lap is completed, the students can simply push down um, one of the dots and then they can trade jobs and then they can continue. So team bobsled, students usually really love pushing the scooter. Uh, you just gotta stress the importance of going nice and slow, staying in control. Um, but yeah, team bobsled, hope you enjoy it. I'll have some more stations to share with you this week. Um, and I'll give a little video demonstration here at the end. Thanks again for watching. Have a good one. So the bobsled game is a game that can be easily modified uh, depending on class size and grade level. You can easily do this with just simple scooters. You don't need to necessarily have a gymnastics mat. You can do it as a partner activity with students pushing each other on the scooters. Uh, for older grade levels, I like to make the obstacle course a little bit more challenging with twists and turns, and I allow them to both push and ride on the bobsled. But as you will see in this next video, when I do this activity with my younger kiddos, I like to start out with them only pushing the bobsled. So for the younger kiddos, they have a more simple obstacle course, so they are just trying to go down and back through the rainbow cones and they are using their feet and their arms to push the bobsled so no one should be all the way on the bobsled. So that gives them a little bit more opportunity to be a little bit more careful and uh, have some fun. So hopefully you try it out. Thanks again.